Hey guys, it's Ryan with Mom on Mission. Today I am doing a Saxon level two flip through. If this is your first time here, welcome. I am Ryan, a Christ following wife and a book loving homeschool mom to three boys. So subscribe and hit that notification bell if you wanna be notified every time we upload a video about biblical womanhood, books or homeschool. So this is our second go with Saxon level two. Um, my oldest son went through Saxon from kindergarten and he's now in Saxon 5-4. And now my second son has done kindergarten and is now in Saxon two. Um, so I just thought I would turn the camera around, kind of go through um, what a lesson actually looks like. Now, I have um, done videos before that I will link up above. They are kind of old, but um, where I talked about how we use it in specific. So I'll kind of reference that here, but I'm not going to go into detail um, about how we use it, but just kind of letting you see what it looks like inside. So here you'll see I have it opened up to lesson 37, which is about where we are right now. Um, and so starting off the lesson, you will see the materials you're going to need. Um, and then we do not do the um, meeting book um, or the meeting strips or any of that type of stuff. Um, I look over it, but if it's something he already knows, I skip it. If it's something he needs practice on, I'll go over it, but we don't write it down or anything. Um, so they always have a pattern and they have to finish the pattern and then they sometimes have money. They have to count out the money. So the meeting part, we rarely do. Like I said, I will skim through it and see if it's something we need to go over. Um, but if you would like to do it, there's always a calendar section. They will label their own calendars, be keeping track of days and such. Um, there is a weather graph for each day. Then they work on counting. This is usually counting by tens, counting by fives, counting forward, counting backward, all that type of stuff. Um, then you ask questions about the graph then you do some sort of pattern, then you work on money, then you work on time with the clock, and then you talk about the number of the day. Now, if I did all of that plus my lesson, math would take a very long time, and I don't have time for that. So like I said, if there's something on here I think he needs help with, um, we'll kind of use this as a guide, but I don't do the entire meeting ever. Um, so then you have the actual lesson. All of this bold print is what the teacher actually says. Um, and then parts like this kind of just tell you what to do. So this is going to be measuring with one inch tiles. So we have little tiles at the beginning. It said you'll need um, your color tiles. So those are multicolored um, tiles that are obviously one inch and we will be measuring different things. Um, so that is very hands on also, which is nice. And then it says like, look at an example on master 237 so with your worksheets any master type things that you will need are in there too so you will use the tiles to measure these things um, and then you go on to using the ruler and you would continue on the lesson like that then at the end there is what they call class practice and you're supposed to use the flashcards to practice your problems um, which right now we're not doing because he knows all of the problems. He just is working on his speed. Um, but as they progress and get harder, the problems, it's a time test format. So as he progresses and the time test gets harder, he probably will practice um, with those um, flashcards before he takes his test. But then we go ahead and take the, they call it a fact sheet, but it's a, we use it like a time test, um, time them for one minute, see how many they can get done. Um, and then they have written practice, which is a worksheet front and back. So let me see if I can grab that for you. Okay, here is what the time tests look like right now. Right now they're working on sums of 10. So that's what that looks like. And then here is an example of what a worksheet would look like. And how we do them, they say to have you do um, the front side, kind of, not with them, but, you know, kind of watching over their shoulder, making sure they're doing it correctly. And then later in the day, do this kind of like homework. Well, we don't do that. We 
Um, he actually does this side before, like in his independent time, before we've even taught the lesson. And that is how I get a feel on if he understands something. And I have no like, oh, you got it wrong. It's just, hey, if you don't understand something or if you haven't gone over it and you don't know what to do, just circle the number and we'll get back to it. But that shows me how in depth I need to go in the lesson. Um, like I said in a previous video, he is kind of a math whiz. So as of right now, we're only about 37 lessons in, but um, he's acing through these without any help. However, if he does get something wrong or if there's a new concept that he needs help on, the front and the back, they're not the exact same problems, but it's a similar type problem. See, so number two is dealing with pairs. Number two is dealing with pairs on here too. Tally marks on number three, tally marks on number three. So if there's something he needs help on, then I will find the corresponding problem on the back and I will have him do that just for extra practice. So then every five lessons, there is a test. Let me go back and show you in lesson 35. So on um, every lesson that ends with a five, you will have a written assessment. And so that just kind of looks like a worksheet, but it's working on um, concepts that you've learned up until that point. But then every 10th lesson, so our next one would be on lesson 40, you have a written assessment and an oral assessment. Okay, so yeah, this is a used book, so it's <laughs> a little dirty. Um, so the oral, um, I didn't bring those pages in with me, but it will tell you like what to say. So this is really small. This is, um, an example of what the recording form looks like, but I didn't bring the actual oral assessments in here with me. Um, so this is, says like count backwards from 100 by tens, um, count to 30 by fives, show me 17 cents or whatever that says. <laughs> Um, but show me different money amounts using actual money. So this is more skills as in um, things you do verbally or things that you do um, with a manipulative. And then you will have a written assessment. Which looks like this. Again, really just looks like a test or like a worksheet. Um, but there is no backside on that. So, and then I just record that along with his oral assessment answers. And then at the end of each lesson, there is a um, answer key. So I don't use it very often just because, I mean, it's second grade math, but occasionally it's faster to just look at the answers on here than it is to actually work them out. So that was my flip through of Saxon level two. If this was helpful, please give it a like. Um, and if you have any other questions about it, if you're considering this curriculum and want some more specific details, um, be sure to leave a comment down below. I would be happy to answer those questions for you. As always, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.